guys welcome back to another reaction we got the main man right now who's on fire andrew tate used to be a professional kickboxer uh he's going through some issues right now but i saw it and i was like you know i'm gonna uh break this one down and the first thing that came to mind i was like holy shit he is huge let's uh let's let's let's, let's watch it crossing distance getting nice and low got that boxing stance oh he's quick So it's gonna be pure boxing. They they're not gonna kick each other because they got shoes on, and this homeboy's got some leather corduroy pants on. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that guy did a good job. He threw the jab and came over to over to the left, the left hook because uh, Tate was pawing at it. That's a good read from the gentleman on the left. My left. This guy. Oi. Throw nice and close. Nice body shot. Okay. Oi. Over that body. Yep. Andrew likes to paw that. <laughs> can we take advantage of the... Can we talk about the guy in the seat right here? Who's just chilling. Drinking that water. HCO. Make sure his hydration stays up. Oi. Did I stun him? <clears throat> oh nice body shot see he keeps pawn when you see someone who keeps on pawn you gotta you faint you faint hard you come up super hard with that left hook mm, nice jab don't break those computers don't break the computers and even the other guy he's he he's he's pawn that real hard too oh andrew state tried to do it And Andrew Tate's a kickboxer. He's not a boxer. That might be the first punch I've actually seen you legitimately hit Andrew with. Oi. Oh. So the biggest thing that the guy in bottom, the, the smaller guy needs to do, he needs to smother Tate. He can't run away from Tate because he's losing the range. He's giving Tate all the range he needs to be able to throw the left hook or the jab. So if you're fighting a taller opponent being smaller, you need to smother him. You cannot let him get the range like like Tate is getting right now. And now Tate's dictating what's knew, going on. I knew that exact punch was coming. I knew exactly what he was doing. Now he's going to the body. Now he's going to go back upstairs. Watch. He's go back to the jab. And you see, Tate's just throwing that left hook because he knows he's going to block it to get him to to stay there and it opens up everything else up yep. walking him down damn Tate why you gotta beat that little man up we turn this down where I get fucking side to side side to side forward and right Ooh no backwards oh there's a clinch see and this is what you do when you hurt somebody you stay on them you stay on them. You don't have to be on them like white on rice, but you just want to get in the right distance and move angles to get them confused to make a bad shot. Boom, another bad shot. Oh, but see, Tate ate that overhand right and it comes back. What are those fucking belts? So Tate's legit when it comes to kickboxing. Ooh, nice right hand. Ooh. Still pawn, still pawn though. Still pawn. Oh, yeah. Good movement there from Tate. Just straight. Nice. They dropped him. Okay, so now, so I think in the beginning, Tate was messing with them. Now that you're seeing Tate starting to move a lot more. See how he's more fluid and he's not really overreacting when he moves. He's got a nice little rhythm going to him too. That's the only thing I'll say bad about Tate. He's pawing like a, like a bear, like a panda bear. Nice movement, nice movement. The guy did a good job walking around that uh, angle too. Nice softball. Nice switch it back to orthodox. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Almost went for a sweep right there. Jab. 
Nice jab. Same thing. Jab left hook. One, two, one, two, three there. And with Tate being so much longer and him being so much taller, he's able to do this, this, this motion of going like this and, and the guy's missing his shots. Right? So Tate's fighting short and he's also fighting long. Like guys, he's, he's in there. He's got his distance. And he's, he's landing that lead left hook. Cause he, he, the guy keeps on pawing. And Tate's just throwing different combinations. He's going up and downstairs, up and downstairs. You see, now he's moving his head offline. His hands are open. And once he starts striking, he gets right back in that position where he's going to throw. Nice body shot. See, you see this right here? This He's controlling the inside arm. So he looks like he's ready to throw a knee or sweep him. Good inside boxing. Pushing the pace. He closes that distance immediately. Nice right hand. Or straight. But you guys notice the whole entire time, the smaller guy's been backing up the whole entire time. He needs to he needs to smother and fight Tate for that distance. Don't let Tate dictate this part right here. Because he's way longer. Way longer, way more experience. We and that's the one thing about that that shell. Well, that boy got locked out. That's one thing about that shell. When you're here, you better be. You better be good because you got to block with the you got to block the hook, got to block the cross with his left shoulder, and use this hand to block the stomach. So if you're not going to be doing this to deflect that that straight, don't do it. Just stay away from it. You're better off being here. But ladies and gentlemen, that was Andrew Tate. Hope you guys like this reaction. I saw it and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna break this one down. Um, I I heard he's a professional kickboxer, and you know, he's a you know, a big sensation on the internet. So gonna break this down if you like this video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell to know me drop another one and uh we'll see you next time guys